Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of office fitness gadgets. You know, those trendy tools that promise to keep you fit while you're grinding away at your desk. We've got under desk ellipticals, balance ball chairs, smart posture trainers, the list goes on. But do these things actually work? Or are they just gimmicky gadgets that end up gathering dust in the corner? I mean, can you really get a good workout while you're replying to emails and attending Zoom meetings? That's what we're here to find out. I've spent the past few weeks testing out a range of popular office fitness gadgets, putting them through their paces to see if they live up to the hype. We'll look at the pros and cons, the comfort level, and how effective they actually are. So if you're ready to level up your workday and potentially squeeze in a workout without even leaving your workspace, stick around. First up, we're starting with a classic, the underdesk elliptical. You've probably seen these things advertised all over the place. They're basically compact ellipticals that slide right under your desk, letting you work those legs while you work on that spreadsheet. The promise here is pretty enticing. Low impact exercise, burning some extra calories, all while staying seated. Sounds like a win-win, right? Well, I used one for a solid week, and I've got to say there are definitely some things I liked about it. For starters, it's surprisingly easy to use. You just pop it under your desk, adjust the resistance, and start pedaling. It's not a super intense workout, which is actually a good thing for an office environment. You don't want to be sweating buckets during a meeting. And you know what? I actually found that it helped me focus. There's something about having that subtle movement in my legs that kept me from getting as fidgety or restless as I usually do when I'm sitting for long periods. It's not a miracle worker, but I definitely felt like I was burning a few extra calories throughout the day, which is always a plus. Plus, it's a great way to get your blood flowing, especially if you have a job that requires you to sit for hours on end. However, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, it does take a bit of coordination to get used to typing and pedaling at the same time. You might feel a little bit like a multitasking octopus at first, but trust me, you get the hang of it after a while. Another thing to consider is the noise. Now, the model I tested wasn't super loud, but it did make a bit of a humming sound. If you're in a shared office space or working from home with other people around, it's something to be mindful of. You don't want to be that person disrupting everyone's workflow with your elliptical symphony. Overall, I'd say the underdesk elliptical is a solid option if you're looking for a way to sneak in some extra movement throughout your workday. It's not going to replace your gym routine, but it's a convenient and surprisingly effective way to stay a bit more active at the office. Next up, we're tackling the balance ball chair. This one's been a staple in the office fitness world for a while now, and for good reason. The idea is simple. You swap out your regular office chair for an inflatable exercise ball and boom instant core workout, better posture, and maybe even a few laughs along the way. Okay, maybe not laughs, but you know what I mean. It's definitely a different kind of office experience. Now, I've got to admit, I was a bit skeptical about this one at first. I mean, sitting on a giant bouncy ball all day. How comfortable could it really be? And to be completely honest, it definitely takes some getting used to. The first day I used it, my core was on fire by lunchtime, but, and this is a big but, I actually started to enjoy it after a while. You see, the balance ball chair forces you to engage your core muscles to stay stable, which is something you definitely don't get with a traditional office chair. Over time, this can lead to improved core strength, better balance, and yes, even better posture. And I don't know about you, but as someone who spends a lot of time hunched over a desk, anything that can help improve my posture is a win in my book. Plus, it adds a little bit of fun to the workday. Who doesn't love a little bounce in their step, right? But let's get real for a second. This thing isn't for everyone. It can be a bit of a challenge to stay balanced all day, especially if you're prone to fidgeting or moving around a lot. And if you're not careful, you might just end up rolling across the office floor. Another thing to keep in mind is that not all employers might be on board with the whole balance ball chair thing. It might be a good idea to check with your boss or HR before you swap out your ergonomic office chair for a giant inflatable ball. Overall, the balance ball chair is a unique and surprisingly effective way to engage your core, improve your posture, and add a little bit of fun to your workday. Just be prepared for a bit of a learning curve and maybe some curious glances from your co-workers. Chapter 3. Smart Posture Trainer. Your digital nag for better posture. Alright, let's talk about posture for a second. We all know how important it is, especially for us desk dwellers. But let's be honest, 
How many of us actually maintain perfect posture throughout the entire workday? Guilty as charged, that's where the Smart Posture Trainer comes in. This little gadget is like having a tiny posture coach attached to your back, constantly reminding you to sit up straight. It's a small, discreet device that you stick to your upper back, and it uses sensors to detect when you're slouching. When it senses you're slipping into that dreaded hunchback position, it gives you a gentle vibration to remind you to straighten up. Now, I know what you're thinking. A device that vibrates every time I slouch sounds annoying, and you know what? You're not entirely wrong. It is a little strange at first, getting buzzed by your own back every time you lean forward. But here's the thing, it actually works. After using the Smart Posture Trainer for a couple of weeks, I noticed a significant improvement in my posture. Those constant reminders really do make a difference. It's like having a little angel on your shoulder, except this angel speaks to you through gentle vibrations. And the best part is, it's not just about the reminders. The app that comes with most smart posture trainers tracks your progress over time so you can actually see how much your posture is improving. It's like having a fitness tracker specifically for your spine. Another cool feature of some of these devices is that they can also track things like your activity levels and even remind you to take breaks throughout the day. Because let's be real, we all need a reminder to step away from our desks every now and then. Now, the Smart Posture Trainer isn't going to magically fix years of bad posture overnight, but it is a super helpful tool that can make you more aware of your posture and encourage you to develop better habits. Plus, it's surprisingly motivating to see your progress over time. Chapter 4. Desk Cycle – Silent But Deadly Workout Last but not least, we're rolling into the world of the desk cycle. This is another one of those gadgets that seems too good to be true. It's like having a stationary bike conveniently located right under your desk. You can pedal away while you work, burning calories and boosting your energy levels without ever having to leave your workspace. Now, I'll admit, I was a bit hesitant to try this one out. I mean, the idea of pedaling under my desk while I'm trying to focus on work seemed a bit far-fetched. I imagined myself getting all sweaty and out of breath, completely ruining my workflow but I'm happy to report that my fears were completely unfounded. The desk cycle I tested was surprisingly smooth and quiet. Like, seriously quiet. You could barely hear a thing, even when I was pedaling at a decent pace. This makes it a great option for those who work in shared office spaces or need to take calls throughout the day. And unlike the under-desk elliptical, which requires a bit of coordination to use while typing, the desk cycle felt completely natural. I was able to pedal away without any impact on my typing speed or accuracy. It's like multitasking for your legs. One of the things I love about the desk cycle is that it's so easy to incorporate into your workday. You can start with just a few minutes here and there and gradually increase your time as you get more comfortable. It's a great way to sneak in a workout without even realizing you're exercising. Plus, it's a fantastic option for those who might not be able to handle high impact workouts or have limited mobility. It provides a low-impact way to get your heart rate up and improve your cardiovascular health. And let's not forget about the mental benefits. Studies have shown that even moderate exercise can have a positive impact on mood, focus and productivity. So, not only will you be getting a workout, but you might even find yourself powering through your to-do list with newfound energy and focus. Outro office fitness gadgets worth it or waste of money. So, there you have it a rundown of some popular office fitness gadgets and my honest thoughts on whether they live up to the hype. Now, I'm not saying you need to turn your workspace into a full-fledged gym, but incorporating even small amounts of movement throughout your workday can make a big difference. Whether it's pedaling away on a desk cycle during conference calls or strapping on a smart posture trainer to combat that computer hunch, there's an office fitness gadget out there for everyone. The key is to find something that fits your lifestyle, your workspace and your budget. Remember, the best workout is the one you'll actually do. So, if an office fitness gadget helps you stay active and feel better throughout your workday, then it's definitely worth considering. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more fitness tips and reviews. Stay active and see you next time. Bye.